I wanted to make a quick video talking about um, Israeli bandages. I have sold a whole bunch of these on my eBay store and uh, different dates, whether they're expired or not. Like you can see this one still says it's good until 2022. Um, and then I've sold other ones like these that said that they're expired in 2017. This one's even older, 2016. These three are perfectly fine. You can see that the vacuum seal is very tight on them. So I would consider these ones fine. Some people had asked me some questions about ones like this. I consider this one okay, because if you look around at it, there's no obvious punctures. And then what it looks to be is if you can see where the vacuum sealing is, where I put this arrow, it's almost like the machine just didn't get a very tight seal. So on this particular one, it probably just built up some pressure from being stored in heat or something like that. I mean, it's possible that there's like a micro hole, but it doesn't mean it's bad. The only way that I would say they're bad is something really obvious like this one. I mean, you can see clearly that the bandage is exposed. And then even on this one, it's still been punctured by something you can see up here. Now, this one even still has a little bit of a vacuum, but the reason why I'll say that a puncture makes it bad, but something like this doesn't, is this is not the full seal. This is like a protective seal, because what I'll do is I'll open this one up. You can see when you take it out of the bag, it's still actually vacuum sealed, so this is still sealed perfectly fine. Now, if you were to open one up, that was like this, and then this was also punctured somewhere, or it wasn't vacuum tight, then I would say it's not sterile. You could still use it in an emergency or use it for training or something. The other thing that may go bad, even if you still see it um, sealed tight like this, is if they were stored in real extreme heat. So say if they sat in a Connex box or something for years in South Texas where it'll get up to like 160 degrees, what can happen? And I don't know that this one actually is bad, but I'm just gonna open it to show that an old one can still be good or bad. Oh, this one's back in good. See, like this one's still vacuum tight, really good. And that's how that's designed to open, by the way, is you grab that top piece for the sealers and it will pop it up enough for this to come out. So inside these, if you've never used one, you can see on the instructions here, there's a little cleat. When you open this up, you have this cleat that the bandage is fed through. What will happen is the glue that holds this will go bad so for you to actually use it in the way it's supposed to be and put pressure on it, like you can still see this one's good. I'm pulling on that way more than the bandage will ever get and it's holding. That glue will deteriorate and the material can actually deteriorate too. It would need to be really old for that. And then this would break off if you were actually going to use it. And I mean, you can still use the bandage as a bandage, but that defeats the purpose of it. I actually just noticed on, uh, I broke, that one that was punctured really badly. You can see the glue has started to separate. As I pull it, see how the glue is soft? And I mean, it's still holding. It still would work in an emergency. This one isn't totally toast, but like that first one, I was able to pull on that as hard as I could, and I'm not really putting a ton of force on this and it completely separated. That's the two things to look out for if you're buying these expired. Is obvious punctures in the package. And then seeing if this is sealed and then also looking for signs if it was stored in the heat, which you can't always tell. Um, I actually got a few of these used ones that you could see were actually getting sun beaten on them all the time and they were like bleached from sitting in the sun. So I'd say that that was too hot. 
but if you can find expired ones that were still sealed up tight like this one that I just opened right here in 2016, this could be a lifesaver to you and you may buy this for a couple dollars versus, you know, 15 or $20 a piece at a full retail for these. Uh, any other questions on these? Uh, let me know and I'll do my best to answer.